Hello and welcome to the. <laughs> wow, you just did the last one so nice. I know, I know. It's, 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 a, it's a new day. It's a new day. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finishing the lift kit, the four inch BDS lift kit. If you missed the first video, this is going to be like two parts. Um, we we're pretty much wrapped up on the front end, pretty much, not completely. We're going to finish the rear, and we're going to mount and balance the four new wheels and tires that we got. You guys are going to like it. Why these guys tighten down the drop bracket? We are. Let's re let's reveal the wheels now. my friends from Attention to Detail PA. They actually came out and they're gonna ceramic coat the wheels before we put them back on the truck. That's right. Uh, we figured before they went under the truck it'd be easier on us to be able to coat them so that we would be doing the barrels, the faces, and get every inch of the wheel covered. I mean, it'd be a lot easier for us to maintain, perceive to maintain, and I figured it'd be a lot easier that way than wait till you get them all dirty and scuffed up when they're on the truck. Right, or right. Your, your wife, I say, right? <laughs> hey, both of us, both. It's a family vehicle. <laughs> She's gonna kick my butt for that. But yeah, the smart time to do it is when the wheel's off the truck and they're brand new. Yeah. And what, what are you using today to coat them? Ah, our favorite. Your favorite, Geo yep. Rim. This is our favorite rim coating as well. Uh, typically, we would do some prep work to the wheels, but because they are brand new, we're just gonna wipe them down with a IPA or like a rubbing alcohol solution. Yeah, it kills any grease, any, it might be on the wheels. Just make sure they're completely clean, nothing's on them. So that way the coating can have a proper bond to the paint on the wheels. There you go, guys. We're gonna get to town on the wheels. You guys are coming to the... If you guys are coming to the JP shop to get your wheels and tires, and before they mount, well, after they mount and bounce them and put them back on the vehicle, and you want these guys to code them, information will be in the video description. They've been in several videos, and um, I can attest to the good job that they do. They do an excellent job and have awesome customer service. Yes, sir. Chase and Kieran. What do you think, guys? New for 2020 fuel coverts. These things are bad ASS. I mean, look at these. Wrapped with 35 by 12 and a half inch wide Nitto Ridge Grapplers. It's gonna look really, really, really good on the Ram Rebel. It's gonna match the red accents inside the truck. And uh, we did it right, as you saw. Chase ceramic coated these things. Got them all taken care of. Perfect. Um, she doesn't even know about this because we, we were going back and forth on these wheels for quite some time, as you all know, way back when we first got the Rebel, we were talking about what wheels we were going to do. Found these things, new for 2020, and man, they're going to look so good on this lifted 2019 Ram Rebel. You How's it going, guys? She didn't tell nobody she didn't know about the wheels. Well, she didn't. Well, she that was one of the ones that we had picked, but it wasn't our first pick. Oh, boy. But she doesn't know what she actually got. He's still doing his normal routine of checking off each step as he goes. Wait, wait, wait. Don't want to miss anything. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> Keith actually follows directions, unlike myself. <laughs> I could throw Tracy in this too, our catch cam. We sort of skipped all over the place. Yep. It got done, didn't it? <laughs> it did. We're torqued. They got everything torqued, as you can see. 
they mark once it's been torqued so you don't skip it. And then uh, we're getting ready to install the spacer for the drive shaft with these newer trucks. That little metal piece right there, a little guard, we're gonna have to trim that. What? Plastic. It's plastic? Yeah. Oh, I should have known everything in this truck's plastic, including the trans pan. So he's gonna have to trim that to put this spacer in, because if not, that drive shaft will rub against that plastic guard. And there's the bolts, and there we got lock tight on them. Yeah. There's the section that he had to trim out there. Oh, I did a good, good job. Good job? Yeah. A plus? What do you give them? A plus, guys? Ooh, that's pretty, that's, that's close. Uh, it's not going this way. <laughs> yeah, it's, go it's going to go up and down, not left and right. So we're, we're, we should be good. The dry shaft spacer in and the bolts torqued down with Loctite. Keith is installing the front struts now. We're moving along. That's right. Getting out of here early. Friday. I left my nuts on the table. Someone want to give this to me? Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Tons of room. How can you not see? That room. Yeah, you don't have to be like all up in there, right? Well, I was, I was having a hard time trying to align it. He's got three bolts. That's what happens when you give him a couple bolts to do. Know, hey? Hours later. <laughs> <laughs> you had a wiring harness. Yeah, they actually. Because I did take the struts out. Yes, that harness actually plugs right into the top of the bolt once you tighten them down. Whoa, there's plugs on our bolts? Yeah. That's, That's how Ram does it. <laughs> Here we are. The front end is pretty much all complete. Tracy, you want to go over everything that we did? Today or yesterday? No, today. <laughs> <laughs> they already know where we started off at. Um, well, today we got our axle shafts in. That was one of the first things that we did. Um, we put our upper control arms up in there. So we got the control arms through the knuckles. We got the shocks on the knuckles. We got the shocks put up in their place. We got our knuckles on top of our uppers. We put our calipers on, we put our rotors on. We routed our brake lines. Uh, we went through and we tightened our LCA brackets come under here. We got our sway bar in, we got our drive shaft spacer along with the drive shaft in. And if you look on all of our bolts, you can see some white white lines or the bottoms. Those are our marks to make sure that we know that they're torqued. So we torqued them and then marked them. And the next step after this is to put it on the ground and tighten everything on the ground since there is some captured rubber. There wasn't really a lot of tips, but one thing I noticed that I actually struggled with on another job is these rubber grommets. You have to shift these a little bit. Seems like a, a really simple thing to do, but Keith actually sprayed some soapy water on there, broke it loose, and it slides very easily. So you don't feel like you're actually gonna rip your uh, ABS wire. So just a... It's the only tip I really have for this because it's pretty, I mean, pretty straightforward kit. Very good instructions and we didn't run into any other hiccups with it. Once you get past the brake lines, we're good. <laughs> You're never going to live that down, Tracy. <laughs> On to the rear, rear. Why are you so greasy on this thing? You. had a hell of a time getting the out of my hair last night. <laughs> I hate my hair. Yeah, Keith's trying a new uh, hair growth product. Mm -hmm. Told him it didn't work for me. Still it's trying good. to find something. If you guys have anything, nah, I, I just shave my hair. It's, e it's easier. It's cheaper. I don't have to pay to get a haircut. I got my own clippers. It's easy. I still get my hair cut. Oh, you guys have hair. You, you guys are my, lucky. And my, my beard wife done. Yeah, cheap and easy. Yep. Hair and beard did. I buy a clipper every two years. Good to go.
So we finished the rear, which consists of track bar, relocation bracket. You got your bump stops. You got your, what is that? Dual rate cool, coil springs, your new Fox shocks, longer sway bar end links. And uh, am I missing anything, guys? That's pretty much it. Back was pretty much a breeze. Fortunately, I didn't get I didn't get to film most of it because my uh, other camera died, and I just want to help the guys because it's Friday and everyone wants to get out of the shop early, right? I'm ready. At least Keith does. Does this look like duck sauce? I don't know what that looks like. It looks I like something that's type. not edible. But it's like neon. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> um, any uh, tips, tricks to the back? I mean, it was pretty, pretty seamless. Always have Steve here to help. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's tall. He can get All right, guys. It's time to throw those bad boys on there. Get this. Well, actually, put it back on the ground. Retorque or torque the front end and rear, right? And then we're gonna go to alignment. And then we're gonna surprise the missus with it at home, because unfortunately she can't make it to the shop. She's got in-service training at work, and then she's got to do bingo for the school. So we really, really wanted her to be here tonight, well, this afternoon to see this, but. What Tracy's about to do, I don't advise of anyone doing this at home, especially if you're uh, older, because your back will uh, feel it. At least mine will. I'd be half crippled. Yeah, you 50 year old. <laughs> yeah, I heard you're 50, Gabe. Right? Oh, oh. I can't Trust wait to see this thing on the ground. <laughs> Real hard time. <laughs> oh man, looks good. My back can't handle that. Get one. Yeah. All right, Dad's doing it. Oh. You should see how he puts those on. I don't know how he does that. Yeah, that would be the way I would put it up. I wouldn't oh. flip it. <laughs> The way Gabe just did it. Right, let's see it. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I already got a bad lower back. Oh yeah, we got put new ones on. We got spikes. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be back on the ground. Four inch BDS lift with 20 by nine fuel wheels on 35 inch nittos. Yeah, you gotta keep going. What are you doing? Oh, nice. Very nice. Love it. I think it's the perfect offset. I don't have to worry about the side getting bloused. That's perfect. So we're gonna get everything torqued down, wheels torqued, all the suspension parts while it's on the ground, and then it's going to alignment, and then we'll do a more proper reveal out in the out in the wild. Let's go get Heather. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? You got a four inch BDS lift. It, you can, 
I can tell a difference. Oh, it's there's a difference. Trust me, you'll know as soon as you try to get inside of it. <gasps> we got fox shocks on fox shocks on the rear. We went with fuel twenty by nine fuel covert wheels. Oh. With a plus one offset, which is perfect. Look, look how it lines over your fenders. We don't have to worry about flinging anything oh, against nice. the side of your truck. Sticks out about the same as uh, stock. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so you like the wheels? I, I do. I told everyone you didn't know what wheels we actually went with. Yeah, no, I gave but, you kind of like a, a list of what I liked or yeah. what I... I actually, I was, I was nervous. Like before, I was 100% anti the red, and then I kind of, it was growing on me. Maybe. And then it was once I told you I had that on my list, and I got a little nervous again. But I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, the truck. I mean, it rides flawlessly. It rides just as good as stock, if not better. You got no tire rub at all at full turn. No cutting or chopping anything. We don't have to cut any of your Put your these, wheel uh, liner all these shoe marks <laughs> yeah it's probably yeah it's from us getting in and out of it normally the jp shop they you know the guys will clean it but no, i'm we part of the hurry. team we had, yeah, to, we yeah. had issues okay yeah. that wasn't bad i liked yeah. it that was, was yeah. fine thank you you're welcome oh yeah. i love it thank you guys you gotta thank the guys at the jp shop too oh i do they came I like through it. I love it. So Tracy, Keith, yes. and I, and I mean, Keith. everyone everyone had a part in this installation. Everyone did a little bit of Thank something. Thank you so, so, so much. Yep. I do. So I greatly easy. appreciate it. Love it. I'm, so, I'm so glad that you went with the red. one more time. It didn't feel right ending the video at home. We had to come back to the JP shop to end the video. So here we are. We're going to end the video. But Heather's been driving the truck for a week now. Yep. What are your thoughts on the suspension? How does it perform on the road? I love it. I think I can't, I mean, I don't necessarily notice a difference between how it is now and how it was stock. That's, That's awesome. Thing. That's a good thing. That's yeah. what you want when you're lifting it up four inches. And we, you know, it's still filthy guys. I'm sorry. It, it's going to be detailed really soon because we've got a show coming up in Harrisburg. It's going to be on display there, but it's going to get clean. It's going to get clean. Trust me. But these 20 by nine inch fuel covert wheels are awesome. They got a plus one offset. It lines up perfectly with the body line of the truck. So we're not spraying crap all down the side like we had in our previous vehicles, which is, you know, important because this is the wife's daily. She's driving how many miles every day? About 82. Yeah, 80, 80 miles a day to the main line for work. So she's putting some miles on it, some time on the road, and you can see it on the side of the truck. And it's, it's just, it's perfect. We're very, very happy with it. The tuning from Diablo Sport, noticeable difference with the Diablo tune. We actually swapped that out from the 91 octane because I, I, well, me, go big or go home. I always want more, 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 just like you guys. We switched over to the 93 octane tune and it's a noticeable difference. But now we need to work on the TPMS issue. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. We're gonna to try to do it with a snap-on tool. I'm a feel. I have a feeling that it's all locked down by Chrysler. You're not gonna be able to do anything because that's what they've been doing. But we're gonna to attempt to because, well, it's calling for. 45 rand. That's weird. Why more in the? Why more in the front? That doesn't make any sense. Usually you put more in the rear because you're towing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopped by the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something to that subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn all your notifications on. It's very important that you get notified of all the videos because, well, YouTube's not letting you know if you don't do that. It's very important for us so we can continue to bring you guys this awesome content, a lot more content with the guys here at the JP shop. So stay tuned for all those videos with other builds like Keith's truck, video coming soon on that, and uh, other Jeeps, trucks, everything. The plethora, even BMWs, potentially. <laughs> Someday. Someday. <laughs> we love you guys. We will see you on the next upload.